Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. We are about to leave the house for the first time today as I have been sitting there doing day job stuff all day. I had calls all the way up until like 12.30 and then I had lunch and I've been sitting up there doing other crap that needs to be done as well. But it's time to go pick up packages. Let's go do that. Okay, so here you can see the big operation. This is how that ram mount connects. It goes right into the bolts that hold the seat in place. And what I've done is I've taken a big drill bit and I have drilled straight through there so that I can get this bolt up underneath and cinched off. And then that will sit there. And then this new uh, arm, I guess if you want to call it that, that the like the, this is basically the arm that would attach to the desk that would hold the piece that stretches out to put the monitor in place so now this has this little hole at the bottom so it essentially will screw down into place there and be right next to the ram mount and then i will extend the arm across up here which i'll show you so now i need to get this bolt out so I can pull the ram mount out, get rid of all this frickin', uh, you know, the filings, and then mount this screw or bolt underneath there and across the top so that I can screw that thing down into place. But I, obviously I can't get this underneath there and up without pulling out the entire mechanism. So I'm gonna do that now. Okay, kids, <laughs> Whew, I'm schwitzing here, man. All right, so here's what I've done. You saw what I did earlier, how I was going to go ahead and mount that pole by drilling through my ram mount base and bringing that bolt up through and basically screwing it into the, into the post, which I've done. Very simple. Got that back together, all nice and tidy, and then I had to put this bracket down, or this, this bar, which just slid down, and then I kind of eyeballed it where I needed it to be, and then you can just tighten it right there on that bolt and I tightened it as hard as I could. Now, for the rest of this shit, I went through, and this is still really tight because it's tight enough to hold the monitor to keep it from moving, but it's still loose enough that if I need to move it, I can. Now, what I did was I had another piece out here that, that came out onto a flat piece that could roll around, and that's the part that mounted to the standard bracket that goes into the back of all monitors and TVs and shit like that, but it only had one tiny little like screw sticking up that's what i'm using in the office but it's not what i could use out here because when i put this on here it, it was literally going like this it, it was that obvious so i removed that entire piece and then i got basically another bolt and i ran it up through the the hole i put extra washers in there so i didn't have as much to screw up inside this thing that bolt goes from down here all the way up inside of this and almost goes probably up into this little piece right here and then i tightened it as hard as i could with a screwdriver and it isn't going anywhere now this is that pgy tech uh head that i didn't really care for but because i'm not actually carrying my camera like this and reaching over there and hitting it all the time it should be just fine now i can just mount the camera in here and I can loosen this up and spin it forward and back. So I'm gonna mount this now, and we're gonna go for a ride, as usual, in the shittier parts of Virginia Beach. Boom, it's in place, it's now locked, it ain't going nowhere, theoretically. Now the bad thing though is that because I have the camera right side up, the screen is over on that side, and I can't see it. We'll figure out the nuances. For now though, this thing is on here, and I'm pretty stoked about it. Okay, I can tell you right off the bat, I'm gonna have to tighten that shit down because it's, it's actually too loose with the weight of the, of the camera on here. It's, it's now, uh, like if I give it gas or whip around the corner, it's actually moving. So, I mean, once I have this thing situated pretty much in the middle of the dashboard, I don't need those arms to move, so I can tighten that back down. Okay, I'm gonna turn around. This thing is, this thing is so loose that it's, it's basically just freewheeling around here. Okay, so my first problem I encountered is that these bolts that hold the basically the swiveling points of the monitor arm we'll just call it that 
uh, are too loose and I almost gave myself a hernia trying to tighten them. They won't tighten anymore, but they're made to be loose enough so that you can actually move the monitor when you need to. Obviously, this isn't meant for a stationary holder of a camera in a moving vehicle. So I did a ghetto thing and I got some cord and I tied it around one of these little uh, thingies on here that I had for cord management. And I just tied it, tied it around a couple of times and now it ain't moving. Now, the true test. Let's see if the damn thing works. So we'll mount this back, and now we go for a ride again. Okay, that's perfect. And that actually cuts down a lot of the jiggle as well. I mean, I'll have to play around a little bit with, with where I'm putting stuff. There, I just did a hard, a hard stop. Yeah, taking off hard, because I'm trying to do it, I'm trying to like gas it, and that hard stop back there where I literally like moved forward and shit fell off the back seat. I'm doing that on purpose, just to try to see if it'll, it'll move this thing, and it's not. Now, I also know that that's only held up there with like a 3M sticker on the back of it. It's a little piece of plastic with like a paperclip size piece of metal sticking on it. It isn't meant for anything major, but it's also, not like it's anchoring down a 40 pound weight. It's literally just holding that in place so that when I start and stop, it doesn't allow the arm to move. So I think I'll be good. If not, I can always put something a little bit more permanent on there that's a little bit more substantial. I was just gonna loop that, that cord, that paracord through the grooves on the, uh, the, the air conditioning vent, but I don't wanna do that either because then it can't be closed or opened or moved or any of that shit. I'm trying to think of all the things that, that could possibly come about from this. Uh, and, and I think I'm good to go. Why is everybody going so slow over there? Looks like, they, oh, it's a street sweeper. <laughs> Great. How the hell am I supposed to test this thing when I'm driving two miles an hour? The only thing that's gonna do is break more of my windshield. And then I'm gonna have to clean off all the suction cup spots from that uh, fall cam thing. But I'm also th thinking ahead of what I can do with that fall cam setup because I'm not gonna get rid of that. I mean, I've already got it set up, it's good to go. That's gonna be good for sticking on the windows and, and getting a different view. Now, granted, I'm not gonna be sticking the freaking A7 IV on here. Okay, right lane closed. We're gonna drive nice and slow because I don't, I don't think I have to let this guy go ahead of me. No, I don't, screw you. Okay, now we're getting back to the shittier parts here. Well, actually, I'm going to pull up the light here, and then I'm going to spin the camera around so you can see what's ahead of you. Well, you're not gonna get the full effect of this test because I was only able to eke my way through this little slalom because this freak up here in the SUV is driving pathetically. Yeah, see that? See the Tacoma, there's my boy. He just whipped on past. All right, we're pretty much through it. I've hit the worst bumps that I can hit. I think it's a pretty good test. Now, I don't know what the footage looks like. It couldn't look any worse than it has any other time I've done this test. I think it might look better. Good enough for government work, for sure. But most importantly, as this thing is in here and it's rock solid. All was well in monkey land. I think that this is a winner. Now I'm gonna stop and I'll wrap it up when I get back. All right, kids, the monkey's happy. That turned out a lot better than I thought because you know how I get. I get it in my little monkey melon that I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna do this and it's gonna be perfect and I won't have any issues whatsoever, and then everything goes wrong and nothing works the way that I think it's gonna work. I can absolutely 110% tell you that this will not work. It, it is way the hell too flimsy and you know, like it would definitely, it would be a joke. All in all, a pretty easy installation. It worked really well. I'm gonna link to this monitor mount, because this is now the second one I bought. Now, would it work if I didn't have a RAM mount base bolted into my seat structure? 
No, of course not. Where the hell am I going to put it? You know, like you can't just sort of like sticker it to the side of the center console or something like that. that that's definitely not going to work. That being said, I'm going to keep the momentum going of the day job stuff that I've been doing today because I have gotten a shit ton accomplished and I kind of want to keep rolling on that. And I don't want to be doing this all night. So that's all you get for today. Now let me know what you think of the installation or if you have any questions about it. Because again, since I had the RAM mount base in there, it was very easy to install. It's pretty tight, yo. All right, so that's it. That's all you get for today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.